Hello there, my fellow knobs, and welcome to another video about the various vehicles of the Greenskins. Relatively recently, I made another Orcs video where I talked about the Deathcopter and the Warcopter. In that video, I promised you I would make an episode on Orc planes and overall fighter craft. So, here I am, fulfilling that promise. Today we are gonna be talking about quite a lot of orc flying things, but we are gonna mainly focus on planes. Also, I am sorry if my voice sounds a bit rugged, but unfortunately I have to record this video a second time, because just a few minutes ago the power company was graceful enough to bless me with a fucking power outage. I am your host, for today the green-skinned narrator, and without further ado, let us get to it, ya gets? The Daka Jet The Daka Jet is an orc fighter aircraft specializing in both air-to-air -air and ground attack missions. A blur of color and noise among the smoke and clamor of battle, the Daka Jet is propelled by a single massive jet engine. It roars through the sky, guns blazing a near constant stream of bullets, tormenting fleeing infantry or enemy aircraft. Daka jet pilots believe firmly in quantity over quality, and commonly bolt as many guns as possible to their aircraft, because some of those bullets will eventually hit something. From the outside, Daka jets share many common features. However, like most orc vehicles, no two Daka jets are ever the same, but are rather the subject of the unique taste of its mechboy designer. However, no matter the design and customization, all Daka jets carry thousands of rounds of ammunition. Their pilots are known to be a cut above other flyboys, with legends like the Crimson Baron, the Sky Shredder, and the Blue Mech having scored countless kills. They are typically armed with an array of two to three twin-linked super shooters, which are capable of laying down a hail of fire, but are highly inaccurate. Streaking into battle through war-scorched skies, a Dakajet's massive thruster leaves an oily contrail of black smoke in its wake, even as its guns spit streams of bullets at the foe. Though not as nimble as the aircraft of other starfaring races, Dakajets are capable of an incredible turn of speed, which makes them a fearsome enemy to face in aerial combat. It also helps that the orcs fly like bloody lunatics. In the heat of battle, while corkscrewing madly through formations of enemy aircraft, Daka jet pilots will cut loose with an absolute storm of fire. Some have even been known to smash out their cockpit glass with the butts of their sluggers in order to add their own pistol fire to that of the plane. The Fighter Orc fighters are the smallest type of aircraft produced by the Orc mechboys used for dogfighting and ground attack. They are built for speed and firepower, typically carrying big shooters and a small wing of bombs and rockets. Despite its crude design, a fighter is easily a match for any Imperial fighter, and its engine is remarkably effective, capable of producing a huge amount of thrust. Orc fighter pilots love nothing more than to fly close to the enemy aircraft and tear it apart with a hail of Daka. The Burna Bomber Burna Bombers are an inevitable byproduct of the Orc's love of speed, fire, and the desire to combine these two into something killy. Strapped with as many incendiary bombs and rockets as physically feasible, Burna Bombers streak low over the battlefield, raining fiery death on tightly packed enemy infantry. The wild-eyed Burna Boy pilots of these craft like to watch their targets burn up close and crispy. As such, they make regular returns to base with their undercarriage streaked with gore and scorch marks. Burna bombers sometimes carry scorcha missiles, making them even more deadly. These corkscrewing missiles make a mockery of fortifications, their warheads bursting in showers that drive their victims from cover or else cook them alive within defenses turned into death traps. Burna bombers usually feature a twin-linked super shooter and a grot-manned defense turret, 
armed with a twin-linked big shooter. Their payload includes two burner bombs and up to six incendiary Scorcha missiles. The Blitzer Bomber Even on their best day, the average orc flyboy has little patience for trajectory, payload arcs, and all the other boring bits of high-altitude bombing. Blitzer bomber pilots instead ensure their massively unsubtle boom bombs land more or less on target by simply dropping them at point-blank range. To pull this off, Blitzer bomber pilots throw their aircraft into screaming nosedives, their terrified grot bombardiers pulling the bomb release lever at the last possible moment. After a loud clank and some alarming shuddering, the bomb plunges groundward and explodes more or less on target. With his payload away, the cackling flyboy pulls up. These maneuvers don't always end well, and most grots have to be forcibly nailed into their bombardier's nest to avoid them bailing out before the takeoff. Blitzer bombers are typically armed with a pair of super shooters and a grot manned big shooter. The payload consists of a pair of heavy bombs known as boom bombs. The Fighter Bomber The orc mech will normally start out trying to build a specific type of aircraft, but will soon become indecisive and hammer on as many guns, engines, and whatsamajigs as possible. The standard fighter bomber is armed with three big shooters and carries ordnance such as the super rocket and the inventive grot bomb. While a relatively good dogfighter, fighter bombers rely on their heavy armament and reinforced armor plating to make up for a lack of speed and maneuverability compared to other aircraft. The uses for the orc fighter bomber are rather limited. While generally more durable, this craft is easily outclassed by other aircraft from the Imperial Navy, the Tau Aircast or Eldar flying assets. The most famous fighter bomber is the dreaded Vulture, one of the oldest and longest serving of its kind. This is also the personal courier of the infamous Boss Zagstruck, leader of the elite Vulture squad. These storm boys use their aging fighter bombers to make deep strikes onto enemy positions by recklessly jumping from the Vulture Squad's bomb bays and firing jump packs at the last minute. The Waz Bomb Blaster Jet There's nothing more satisfying to an orc than going fast, having lots of DACA and screaming wah really loud. Mastering all three of these aspects, these improvised flying machines are covered in improbable weaponry and piloted by the maddest of the mech boys. Wasbomb blaster jets fly in tight formation, competing to see who can blow stuff up in the most hilarious manner. The more hapless enemies dissolved by searing energy, teleported into oblivion or hurled through the skies to their messy demise, the better. Every kill means more scrap for the mech boys to gather up and nail to their blaster jet squadron. The Heavy Bomber Born from the orc belief that bigger is always better, bombers fulfill many of an orc's inner desires. They are big, fast, loud, and cause massive amounts of random destruction. The main problem is that there aren't many orcs willing to pilot them so most of the crew consists of Gretchen who have the dangerous duty of pushing unstable bombs off the rear ramp. The infamous orc mechboy Orchimedes was inspired by the Imperial Marauder bombers during the Third War for Armageddon, and would produce a low-flying ground attack variant of this bomber known as the Blasta Bomber, or Heavy Bomber to the Imperials. It was armed with shooters, zap guns, and rockets. The Landa The Landa is the name given to a large transport aircraft that orcs use to land forces and smaller vehicles from orbiting spacecraft. They are also used to move these forces from one battlefield to another. Landas are a classic example of orc design, being huge, ungainly craft yet brutally efficient in their one given task. Orc landas are slower and more ponderous than any orc or imperial aircraft, 
but it would be a fatal mistake to underestimate them or consider them easy prey. While not nimble, orc landas are very tough and can ignore damage which is deadly to many other aircraft. Landas are also equipped with many gun turrets and rockets, which allow them to lay down an impressive rain of fire. This is useful both against enemy aircraft which get too close, or to support disembarking units once on the ground. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about Orc Bombers and Fighters for today. Would you like a mechboy to build one of these for you? Which one would you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you'd like to help me keep this channel alive, as well as my sanity, please go visit my Patreon page, the link for which is in the video description. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all a very orky day. May Gork and Mork watch over you.